Alright guys, your persistence has won and I am here to do a guitar tutorial for the R&B version of Do You Want to Be a Snowman? I mean, do you, <laughs> do you want to build a snowman? I would actually, I do actually want to be a snowman, um, but since I can't, I guess I'll just build a snowman. Alright, so this song, this cover that I'm doing, I saw on Facebook by an artist named, I think it's Fatai, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but F-A-T-A-I. So look it up, Do You Want to Build a Snowman by her amazing amazing voice amazing artist she's got a lot of cool stuff so check her out without further ado i'm gonna play along with it and then i'll break it on down So here we are. Um, I'm just going to break it down as simple as possible. Um, the first chord is like an A major 7 chord. Okay? And the way that you play this chord is, um, I'm not hearing actually that, that ring finger, I mean that pinky, not the pinky, that middle finger on there. But I'm playing the 5th fret of the low E string with my first finger. With my middle finger I'm playing the 6th fret of the D string. And with my ring finger, I'm playing the sixth fret of the G string. Okay, and you just kind of pull. Let's just down a little bit. All right, so you're just pulling one, two, slap, one, two, and then I'm pulling with my thumb the E string, the D string with my first finger. Okay, so pull with your thumb thumb again okay something like that so it's kind of like a little just kind of pull the it's the same notes that you're playing with the chord but you just kind of boom boom okay then you got uh there's a couple different options um and this is just my version of it that i that i play so um that's, that's probably the easiest one or you can go okay so um, one one way one way you can do it is bar the entire let's see seventh fret starting with the A string so the A the D the G and the B string and I'm just pulling okay with my thumb on down to this finger I'm pulling E string okay or you could if you want to do that okay you could do it's like excuse me like a, a nine um, dominant nine chord. Um, so with this chord, I have my middle finger on the seventh fret of the A string. I have my first finger on the sixth fret of the D string. I have my ring finger on the seventh fret of the G string, and my pinky on the seventh fret of the B string. B string. Okay. So either one of those chords, whichever one's easier. Okay, so you got so far, do you want to build a snowman? Da, 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 da. Okay, then I'm going to, I went to a diminished, a D diminished chord. Okay, um, and I have my first finger on the fourth fret of the G string. I have my middle finger on the fourth fret of the A string. My ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string and my pinky on the 6th fret of the B string, okay? It's 
So what I'm doing, I'm just using my thumb and I'm starting, I'm grabbing each string. So I'm using my thumb to grab the A string, my first finger to grab the D string, my middle finger to grab the G string, and then my um, ring finger to grab the D string. So for each string, for each chord I'm doing, I'm going, ah, sorry. Okay, then I'm going to uh, C sharp minor 7 down to B minor 7. Okay, C sharp minor 7. I'm going to take my first finger and bar the fourth fret, starting with the A string, going down. Um, put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the B string. Take your ring finger, put it on the sixth fret of the D string. Same kind of pattern, with starting with the thumb. Ah, sorry. Okay, then I'm going to go down a whole step to B minor 7. Okay, so, so far, you got the A major 7 chord. Ah, why do I keep doing that? Sorry. I went from A major 7, this E chord, D diminished, C sharp minor, B minor. Then I'm going to slide to F sharp minor 7, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm barring with my first finger the D, G, and B strings of the second fret. And then I'm taking my middle finger and I'm putting it on the second fret of the low E string. Okay, and I'm kind of sliding into it. So I'm starting on the first fret and I'm sliding. Okay, um, so and then go up to. Okay, so I'm going up to B minor 7. Okay, and I'm on the seventh fret. Starting, it's the same exact shape that you just did here on the second fret, but you're going to go all the way up to the seventh fret. So this time I have my middle finger on the seventh fret of the low E string, and I got my first finger barring the seventh fret of the D, G, and B string. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Okay, I don't know why I just did that noise. But um, the remember the second chord we did after that A major seven? It's the same chord again. All right, so I got my first finger... Um, on the A, D, G, and B string, all the way down. Okay, so so far we got D major 7, okay, and you're going to bar the 5th fret of the A, D, G, B, and E string, okay, then you're going to put your middle finger on the 6th fret of the G string, your ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string, and your pinky on the 7th fret of the B string. And I just like to kind of, so I'm starting with the A string, I'm using my thumb, I'm going boom, boom, boom. Okay, so A, D, G, and then when I get to the B string, I'm, I'm lifting up my pinky, and then I'm hammering down, so I'm going, okay, um, then I'm going to, back to C sharp minor, 7, and you're going to walk down. C sharp minor 7, walk down, C minor 7, walk down, B minor 7. It's the same exact shape. Okay, and you can do your own thing. You can go, okay, whatever. She just went. Okay, uh, minor 7 shape, we already discussed this earlier. Um, but I got my fourth finger barring the A, D, G, 
B and E string. I got my middle finger on the fifth fret of the B string and my ring finger on the sixth fret of the D string. Take that same shape. Boom, boom, boom. So far, let's put it together. We got. C sharp minor. B minor. F sharp minor seven. Slide up to B minor seven. Down to that E chord. Now I'm at D major seven. sharp minor seven walk down crazy run things you did huh. do you want to build them okay this is pretty easy so you're going from b minor seven and we already talked about this shape again i'm on the seventh fret i'm barring the d g b string uh, with my first finger and i got my middle finger on the, the low e string the seventh fret of the low e string so i'm going i'm just pulling each each note that I'm playing one time. So I'm pulling the E, D, G, and B strings. So I'm going bam, 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 bam. Okay. But actually, I would suggest actually not to pull the B string. If you want to, you can, or you can't don't have to, but you just want kind of that the meat of the chord. So I'm going from B minor seven, go a whole step to C C sharp minor seven. Then go a half step to D minor seven. And then go a whole step to E minor 7. And you're going to repeat that. So you got, do you want to build something? Hey! Do you want to build something? Okay. Again, so I'm going, I'm at the, just in case you don't know those chords, I'm at the 7th fret. Then I'm at the ninth fret. Then I'm at the 10th fret. Then I'm at the 12th fret. Itself is fun. I can do that all day. Okay, then you're gonna go to F sharp minor seven. Um, I just got a new. If you can't tell, I just got the new Taylor. It's new to me. Taylor uh, GS Mini, and um, I I love it because it's small and it's compact. But uh, kind of like running out of space here. So you could play F sharp minor seven. Ah, here, here. Okay, so you already at boom, boom, boom. You could slide up a whole step and play it there, or if you like me and you're running out of guitar, you can play F sharp minor seven here. All right, so I'm on the I'm on the ninth fret. Um, I'm barring the entire ninth fret of the A, D, G, and B string. I got my middle finger on the tenth fret of the B string and my ring finger on the eleventh fret of the D string. Okay, that's that same minor seven shape that we've been doing. Um, so you got dun. and then I'm going back to B minor seven. And I'm on the seventh fret. Okay, we already know that shape. And then I'm gonna slide up a whole step to I'm gonna slide up a whole step to C sharp minor seven. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to B minor seven. C sharp minor seven, D minor seven. And then end it with Okay, you can do your own little lick or whatever you want there. So Woo! 14 minutes, good lord! I ain't never had a video alone. Okay, so I'm wrapping up here. So I'm going to go through it really slowly so that you can see, okay? I'm not going to even attempt to sing this girl. Lord have mercy. Okay, so you got A major 7. You ready? Do you want to build a da, 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 e my, The E chord. D diminish. C sharp minor 7. B minor 7. F sharp minor 7. 
Slide up to B minor seven. Woo! D major seven, y'all. Walk down from C sharp minor seven. Walk down to B major. B minor seven. Do you want to feel the snowman? Hey. Do you want to feel the snowman? Oh. Do you have to build a snowman? And then F sharp minor seven. That is just my interpretation of the song. Um, she may have been playing different chords. I don't know. That's just what I played when I played it. So um, I hope that helps. Um, hey, do you want to build a snowman? I would like to build a snowman. Like, I'm fine with it if you are. 